हेलो एंड वेलकम टू वर्जियोज यूट्यूब चैनल द वेबिनार फॉर टुडे इज ऑन आर पी ए यू आई पार्ट टूटोरियल फॉर बिगनेस सो द इंस्ट्रक्टर फॉर टुडेज वेबिनार इज मिस्टर रवि चांगले हु इज़ अ वेरी वेल एक्सपीरियंस डेटा साइंटिस्ट सो ओवर टू यू you can see that i have got a particular notepad here and i'm going to work out on not like uh, name is equal to let's say ravi right and let me start recording the screen so i just work on a basic workouts here and you can start working on this record and once you start recording you can now hit enter here once you hit enter here okay so you can see there is a type the desired value it is the kind of the pop up right so let me say i'm going to add something right so i can just work on the add and i'm going to hit enter over there so like that you can have so many transactions over there, available and let's save and exit so i'm not adding right now anything i'm just only saving and exiting here so you can save and exit by just escaping it and you can see the entire process is basically recorded here can you see that guys please confirm in the chat box that whatever i have done with the notepad is basically recorded in the main screen am i audible and you can see that here so what you have to do is you have to just click start here it's a basic uh, recording only nothing more than that right so once you see that automatically i am not using my system now automatically things will pop up and it's going to run that So here you can now add the elements. You can work out on save and exit, and you can see that. Okay, actually I just ignored that. Let me again run it. Let me stop it here. Come to the design, and let me start again. Sometimes it takes a few seconds. Sometimes it takes even minutes. Can you see that? So it's basically going to automate whatever I'm going to do with my notepad. I have not done any kind of further highlighting of this kind of things. all right apart from that you can see that i'm going to just only uh, showcase the second recording you can also delete this work workouts just after stopping them just stop it forcefully and then you can just delete the operations just come to the second part of recording that is the stop so whatever you do with your desktop will be recorded here so i just come up here and i come to my windows and i find something like ui path that's it and let's say okay let's record it again it's asking for some pop up okay you can ignore it all right let me again come to my ui path search out that's it and i'm just again uh, you know working on escape and i'm saying save and exit so you can see that whatever i have done on the explorer it comes up here again all right guys and just start it so i'm not uh, i'm not using anything now and you can see that it's going to so you can see automatically it's controlling my device right i'm not doing anything my hands are apart right so wherever you go guys you can now just work out on the desktop automations you just your like that for browser you need to give the permission so that's why otherwise you can go ahead with that hope you understood the things guys now you can do the things please confirm in the chat box not showing much things because we have so many things to discuss so let's avoid that right now and you can try it at your end to do the operations over there i think you're going to enjoy that when you do this by yourself and let's have some workouts here let me use now something like sequence operations right so yeah thanks for that so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to help you out 
with by building a kind of a automated uh, message kind of system all right so let's create certain things the recording you can do you can easily understand you can easily record the sessions and these are some basic requirements complex things would be that you automate your daily routine work like uh, working on uh, csu automation pdf automation word doc uh, document automation like that so i have shared you some of the workouts here and let's come to work out on a very basic function for that what you need to do is you have to see something like this is a property pane this is a main pane this is a ribbon there is a activity pane where we can search the activities you can work out on the property pane we can change the properties here as a main file you can see that it's desktop and it's working on drop activity something like that here all right so you can delete this operation also and now you can drag something known as sequence how many of you are doing the exercise by the way with me please confirm in the chat box anybody doing the exercise along with me Okay. No one. Okay, that's great, Pramod. Thanks for that. Quick, uh, quick confirmation. And uh, let's uh, build this. You know, search sequence here. Though you can do so so many things. Let's have simple function today. Next day we can bring up something more complex and we can work out. So I'm bringing the sequence here. And I just uh, you know put the sequence in this particular box. it says that you can drop the further activities here now we can have certain dialog box so what you can search is now let me build up a dialog box again you cross it and search here input and dialog like a chat so you can drag it and put it here. okay now it says there are two uh, inputs can be given title it's asked for a title that is text must be coded and label so label and title we need to put it let's put it something like uh, enter your name let's put something as a title that we can enter your name a basic hello world program we are going to build up first and what you can do is now you need to ask a question right what is your name let's create a kind of a chat and you can now bring in the message box let's have a message box here and just start it after that what you can do is now you can see that in the message box there is written that text must be correct so we can put the text out there what text you need to highlight over there once you get all these things you need to get a message welcome let's say to verzio a very basic hello world program all right that's it and simply run it so you can see that it's going to operate now i wait for some time and you can see that there is a pop up here now it asks what is your name automatically right so i say now my name is let's say for example it's pramod all right and what it says is message box says welcome to verzio okay pramod you got it and everybody i mean tj paul and tejas and everybody please confirm that we can even work out with automation of this kind of message boxes so we have to just manually work out first and then we can automate this and for example you are recording this process even this can be automated suppose you are working on complex algorithms right machine learning algorithms you are building you just record the things we are doing every you know on your desktop it the task will be repeated automatically again the next day okay so there are so many functionalities like that and let's make it some more uh, interest uh, you know let's have you know better workouts so i come back here you can see that there is a variable column right so there is a variable column and let's create some variables and uh, once you see this you can create variable number 1 and let me just have variable number 1 as enter name 
so i'm going to enter name and everything is kept as default nothing is to be worried about it and in the side wise you can see that i have got now variable name automatically you can delete the second sorry you can delete the second one all right so you got enter name once you click it you get a property pane and automatically the name function has this enter name kind of a workout it's going to work on sequence of activities type is string because it's a character that's it and what you can do now is you can come back to the particular message box all right and you can see that there are so many things available like buttons the kind of uh, caps put in and the kind of results you can get generate over there so like that you can just create certain variables enter name is a kind of a variable i have created and if you just come up to the sequence you can see there is a result right what result you need is you can put something on this result box and that result box is basically that i can write something uh over there let me highlight my main uh, dialog box just a second guys here you can write now in this dialog box you can see here that you can add something so this is a string right and i can now enter the variable which i have created so enter name again and run it once again it will take some time to pop up come up here guys and start typing it again so now i say its name is ravi now again it pops up only welcome to versio so what i need is basically i need to enter my name again so for that i have already created the variable this variable is basically to be highlighted in terms of let me put it here enter name again all right so you can see i have just in the result uh, window i have put in enter name again again i run it again it goes to the pop up and then again i hit ravi and now it says welcome to versio ravi clear guys this is how exactly we can add the variables so i have not entered ravi over there it's basically by default it is set so message box is basically automated here and like that you can create certain programs you can try by yourselves that you can do this please confirm in the chat box you got the difference in the first program and the second program hey guys please confirm thank you so much so like that we have got n number of things to automate actually so you can uh, also try out some more templates actually okay there are certain examples like you come to design stop this workout okay and what you can do is now you can come to some snippets here are certain samples out there in your free time you can just work out right for example there is a calculator automation all right you can use that ping monitor etc these are some of the samples which are available so it's these are a kind of the xml files right which you can see snippets are available extract the text between labels like that there could be multiple functions available and how exactly you delete it you can just directly hit delete here all right and for calculator automation you just put it
you'll see the entire uh, structure here. All right. So the sequence is working in this manner. So you can see now how exactly we work with the sequence. Sequence is nothing else but set of activities. So activity number one, get the environment folder. Activity number two, open calculator. Activity number three, click the button, add the button, take informative screenshots, and then equals button, then go to OCR text, Google OCR, blah, blah, blah. There are so many things you can do with this. Got it, guys? And then you can run it uh, later on, right? So you can just work out on these particular aspects over there. And it will take it some time. So you can see that I can even, you can see my calculator has come up there, there right? Without doing anything, my calculator has come up. The calculator has come up and everything is now not in my hands. Now it's done by my system. So you can even write any program. So four plus five, this all I have not decided actually. You can try it at yourself, by yourself. I'm giving my control and it says that message has come up. Output is nine. Hey guys, have you tried that example? Somebody please confirm in the chat box. Once again, I'll run and I'm going to start it. You can see that my calculator will come up and the entire transactions will be automated. So I just run it again. So now my calculator has come up. Four is added plus five is added. Nine has come and a message will pop up in your screen that the total is nine. That's how my system can be automated for any task. Now, suppose you are working on a machine learning algorithm, which is very complex. And suppose you are not even touching the screen, right? <laughs> it's great. So into the session, it's guys, and like that, we can build up so many things and, and have so many workouts over there. You can even extract text between labels. And let's see to that. So when you go for this program, we just work out on all the aspects of your framework, how to create dialogues, how to work on inputs, how to just add on the sequences, etc. Let's have a quick uh, workout on, you know, samples which are available, like uh, a counter example. Let's see what exactly is the counter example. All right, so let's. All right, so it can work out with n number of iteration guys, right? This particular workout can work on n number of iterations. So consider a kind of a loop kind of exercise wherein you are going to work out. It's basically suitable here to work on it. You can just hit a delete of, sorry, first of all, what you can do is you just come up here and Just close it so that your tasks are not affected. Come upside. And now it has been hanged. And let me just let me go back. And let's have a new process, right? And before that, you can see there are certain commands available. So you can even work out with the command palette, go to the particular files, open universal searches. We can work on activities directly. Control plus shift plus T will be active, uh, you know, working on the activity and it's working out over there. All right. So like that, you can try out these particular commands over there. 
you can enjoy these things by your at your end correct guys now it working out okay you can see that there are ping monitors which work out with uh, yahoo.com and every you know sample you know the sample if you work out every 10 seconds is going to pass the results and writes the loss out there so like that you can have certain things right you can create certain kind of applications even you can work out with the email automations and let's have some more theoretical concepts which are coming up here which you need to understand and then we can wind up the session after that So you can see when I'm working on a kind of a uh, UI path platform, it's going to have two things, activities and sequence. And now I think in the best manner, you can understand the activity is nothing else, but any single action which I take up over there is going to be an activity for me. And it could be like hitting the mouse or working on a keyboard and sequence is nothing else, but seeing a series of activities we can have. We already seen that we have got a UI path studio. We have got UI path robot as well. So robot is going to execute the process built in studio, just like humans. There is a kind of a orchestrator. All right. You can deploy this particular thing to on a, as a web application. So we can work out on UI path orchestrator over there. We can schedule, monitor and manage the robots and processes entirely on UI path. This was the particular ribbons and uh, 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 the kind of the pains which we have seen. We have seen some of the hand, you know, uh, basic uh, hello world programs in UI path. And let's meet some or some day or the other wherein we can discuss some more complicated exercise. I hope you like the session and the time to say uh, bye bye right now. Please confirm if you have any kind of a doubt or you know questions over there.